So if you're using encryption within your environment, you need to use strong encryption. Um, what this effectively means is you need to generate strong keys. Now, once again, um, you need to be using an industry best practice for this. One of the things that I would recommend that you do as part of your risk management program, uh, you have an annual risk assessment that you're required to do, is that you perform somewhat of a risk assessment around uh, the generation of your keys. If during the period of time that your, your uh, encryption keys become deprecated or become weakened because of some in change to the industry, that you have a process for generating a new key. And uh, we'll be talking about that in a subsequent video. But specific to requirement 361 is that you have to have a program and process in place where you're actually, actually generating strong keys. If you have an HSM, that's kind of uh, inherent in, in uh, using the HSM itself. If you have a clear text process where you're managing these keys or, or developing these keys, it needs to be done securely. Uh, I would recommend that you look at industry best practices, NIST 800 uh, series 857 um, for that uh, information. 